This episode brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 25% off today by visiting hover.com slash Mr. Mobile. Hi, I'm Jay Goldman and you're watching Mr. Mobile. Today's another episode for all of you BlackBerry lovers. We're going to look at five of my favorite power user tips to make using your BlackBerry a little bit easier and a lot more fun. The first tip we're going to look at is hiding applications on the home screen. Now your, your BlackBerry comes with a whole bunch of applications installed. You may have installed some other ones. And they're not all things that you need access to on a regular basis. Hiding those applications that you don't use often just frees up space, moves your other applications up, makes everything easier to find. So really simple tip, just pick the application that you want off your home screen, hit the BlackBerry menu key, and choose hide. If you want to see all the applications that you've hidden, just hit the menu key again, choose show all, all of the hidden applications will come back. You can use whichever one you want, and then you can choose hide all again from the same menu, and they'll all disappear. Our second tip has to do with auto text shortcuts. Now, auto text actually comes installed on the device already, and it comes preloaded with a whole bunch of auto text shortcuts that you may even have used without realizing it. There are things like if you wanted to type aisle, you can type IL space, and that will automatically fill in the apostrophe for you. Or if you double space after a word, it will put in a period and capitalize the letter of the next word, which is the first word of the next sentence. What you may not know is that you can define your own auto text for things that you type frequently, and it will automatically fill them in for you. So if you've got an email signature that you want to be able to insert easily, or maybe the address of your company, you can create an auto text shortcut, and whenever you type whatever you've set the text shortcut to be, your BlackBerry will fill in the text. Setting up auto text is in the options area of your BlackBerry. Hit options off your main screen. There should be an auto text entry right at the beginning. Pick that, and you can see all the auto text shortcuts that are in there, and define your own. My third favorite tip has to do with the convenience buttons that you'll find on the side of your device. This is a BlackBerry Storm, so we've got one convenience button over here and one on the other side. And what you may not know about the convenience buttons is that they can actually be convenient if you set them to launch the things that you'd actually like them to launch. If you go into the Options, Screen, and Keyboard setting for your BlackBerry, so again, that's Options off the main menu, Find Screen and Keyboard, you'll see Settings for the convenience buttons on your device, and this works on all BlackBerrys, doesn't have to be a Storm, and you can choose a bunch of different options from the drop-downs that are there to define what you'd like the button to do when you press it. It can be really helpful if you've got an application that you do all the time, say maybe launching the browser, or if you're using something like Vigo for RSS reading, and you want it to jump straight into that when you press the button. My fourth tip for today actually won't work on this device because it's a Storm and only has the touchscreen. But if you've got a different BlackBerry model, say maybe a Bold or an 8800, one of the best things that I can suggest is to turn off the Dial from Home option, which allows you to use the keyboard as shortcuts to launch applications right from the BlackBerry home screen. If you'd like to turn it off, go into the phone application, hit the BlackBerry menu key, then look for an option setting, and inside there, the general options will contain an item called Dial from Home, which can either be on or off. If you turn it off, when you're on your home screen, instead of being able to dial a phone number by just starting to press the buttons, you'll be able to use all the letter keys to launch applications. So B for browser, M for mail, that kind of thing. And if you want to dial a phone number, you just got to jump into the phone application and start dialing. So you're one extra letter press away from dialing phone numbers, but you've got direct access to all the rest of the applications on your device. Our final tip for today has to do with the LED coverage indicator, which is right here. Now, that light flashes for a bunch of different reasons. If you've got a message waiting, it might be red. If you're using a Bluetooth headset, it might be blue. But some of you may be annoyed that it just flashes green all of the time. It's actually flashing because it's letting you know that the phone has coverage, which is kind of helpful, except you probably spend most of your time in a coverage area, which means that it's just flashing green all of the time. If you'd like to turn off the LED coverage indicator, jump into the options right from your BlackBerry's home screen, look for the screen and keyboard area, and in there you should see a setting for LED coverage indicator, which can either be on or off. Turning it off will immediately get rid of the green flashing light, and you'll never see it again until you turn it back on. I'm Jay Goldman. This has been Mr. Mobile. Thanks for watching. Check us out on butterscotch.com for more episodes, and we'll see you next time. This episode brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 25% off today by visiting hover.com slash Mr. Mobile.